So now we have no Synthra OS version 5.2 based on Android 13. A lot of Android 13 based custom homes are coming. This new Synthra OS version, which is based on version 5.2 or based on Android 13, includes some of the things which I'll talk about in this video. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let me show you some basic details about this one. One thing let me show you that in this version, there are some few of the customizations added, not much. So this might be a very good update for some of the users who just don't like new Synthra at all. This is the default UI which we have the default launcher sorry the default wallpaper is actually changed the version name is Tambora if I'm not wrong and the default launcher is not pixel launcher it is actually maybe Nusantara launcher in the form of quick step launcher which includes some of the customizations related to home screen where you can adjust the double tap you can adjust these options if you want to it's up to you including that we have the option for swipe to access google app and add app icons to home screen and yes this is it we also have some of the options related to miscellaneous developer options which if you want to consider you can but it's better to simply ignore this thing because there are not much things and for now i think it's only pixel launcher is the option available if you want to install a custom launcher you can install pixel launcher instead if you don't want you to use this or this default launcher on your device if i move on to the other options the quick settings panel to be honest quite disappointment yes this is initial build but still um this is not the light one we have the dark quick settings panel or you can say black quick settings panel even if you use the light mode dark mode doesn't matter at all but other than else things are basically same if you're able to notice i have applied a custom icon pack you can see the internet bluetooth these icons have been changed even the status bar wi-fi icon has been changed so with this you can think that yes some of the customizations have been added if i move on to the settings ui as you can see the same ui which is available with android 12.1 also so no changes here at least they have changed some things here if i move on to other options you can see things are basically the same like notification history options are there if you want to use this thing battery also does not have battery charging related tweaks or etc they might add it in the next update but for now this is not in sound and vibration section same kind of options available if you're using mi 11x you might get the mi sound enhancer also and if you're using any other device things might be changed in your case and display settings double tap to wake option is present and yes these things might depend upon your device so which device you're using and a lot of other things depends upon that so that's why not going to talk about that for example in my case my device has the 120 years refresh rate which is working fine in wallpapers and style if you're able to notice system icon pack and system fonts which we have available and this is the one i have applied the arches fonts many fonts options are available so yes, some of the theming options have been added not properly there as you can see in some cases the fonts have not been applied properly but yes we may expect this fingerprint option is there face unlock is not out yet it might be available with pixel experience pixel experience room is also coming based on android 13 in in beta state so yes this is really good and gestures etc same kind of options are present for you if you want to use if you want to customize the navigation bar you can the pill length option is there you can hide that increase or decrease the length if you want to and other than else these are the things which you have in settings app after all those settings UI which you just saw if i move on to the nusantra wings option where we have some customizations related things yes things are basically there for example the game space if you are a gamer and if you were looking for this game space it's there you can use this thing if you want to same like that theming option only has two or three options not major customizations but yes this is what you were expecting at least some things have been added in this version same like that in notification section heads up related customizations and maybe in call vibration but uh, nothing much about these things we move on to the miscellaneous options swipe to screenshot which definitely most of the users are using double tap to sleep and double tap on lock screen to sleep i don't use these features at all never ever and but if you use you can the you can use these options lock screen only has a lock screen charging info fingerprint does not have any kind of features for you if i move on to the status bar battery customizations if you're able to notice add my status bar some battery icons options are there you can use those clock options seconds options are there and i always use this thing i mean most of the times
आइकन मैनेजर यस ओनली स्टेटस बार आइकन ट्यूनर क्विक सेटिंग्स क्विक सेटिंग्स फोटर एंड सम ब्राइटनेस स्लाइडर लिट ऑप्शन लास्ट बट नॉट दिल सम ट्रैफिक इंडिकेटर्स दीज आर थिंग्स विच वी हैव एंड अदर एल्स थिंग्स आर बेसिकली सेम थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग एंड गुड बाय